Hello everyone. For this exponential problem, you can see here, I have a, a plus sign between these exp uh, two exponential terms. Uh, but uh, the left number is 8 and the right is 2 and they have a connection between them. Because you know, 8 is 2 to the power of 3. So I can write it like 2 to the power of 3 and we have a, another power x plus 2 to the power of x here equals to 130 and you know from the basic mathematical methods rules you have this rule if a to the power of m get raised to the another power of n then you can write it with to uh, the another term with the exchange of the powers a to the power of n get raised to the power of m so we can just change the power here so this will be 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 plus to the power of 2 to the power of x equals to 130 and now I let 2 to the power of x as another expression like y and I can rewrite this term by y 2 to the power of x is y to the power of 3 y3 three, y to the power of 3 plus this one is just y equals to 130 and now I can take this number to the left side and you can you should flip the sign then y cube plus y minus 130 equals to zero and this one is the third order equation but we can uh, use another trick here uh, to simplify this equation you know 130 I can write it here and I separate this to a space <clears throat> 130 is 26 times 5 and I can show you why I write it like this uh, so the two numbers multiplication of two numbers y cube plus y here minus 26 times 5 equals to 0 but you can rewrite this term I mean 1 times y as I write first y cube minus 25y plus 26y and this y is the result of these two terms you know minus 25y plus 26y is just y and you have this 26y uh, because you have another 26 to the this number at the last and I can write it again times 5 equals to 0 now I have these two term here and these two term here for this the first two terms I can factor out y because uh, both of them have uh, 
uh, y inside each other. So if I factor out y, then the first one is y squared minus 25. And for these two other numbers, you have another mutual number, mutual term. It's 26 for both of them. So I can factor out 26. For the first one, I have y minus. For the second one, I have 5 equals to 0. Okay. Now I can use the rules of mathematics here because you have a, a, an identity formula for I can write it here for any expressions like this if you have uh, two squared number like a and b that subtract each other you can write it like a minus b times a minus i plus b so for that reason you can write it because you know 25 is 5 squared and now you have y based of this rule y minus 5 times y plus 5 and the other expression is 26 y minus 5 and last equals to 0 and you can see y minus 5 uh, both are here in the, these two terms so you can factor out both of them y minus 5 I factor out times yeah, uh, open a bracket from the left num uh, left expression just remains y times y plus 5 and for the right expression you have only 26 close the bracket equals to 0 now I can simplify it uh, again y minus 5 remains times and here you can multiply these two terms each other y times y is y squared y you know this term should uh, multiply this term and this term y squared plus 5y and 26 here equals to 0 now you have two answers I can write the answers here the first one this term is y minus 5 should be 0 and or this term <clears throat> y squared plus uh, 5y plus 26 is equals to 0 from the first one you can this result you can conclude y equals to 5 the first answer and from this uh, expression you should use the rules of quadratic expressions and that is y equals to minus b because it has a b c a is 1 b is 5 and c is 26 minus b is minus 5 plus minus because it has two roots because it's second order and you have two roots the radical expression b squared is 5 squared 25 minus 4 times r is 1 
times 26 over 2 times r which is simply 2 now you can write it y equals to minus 5 plus minus 25 minus uh, 4 times 1 is 4 times 26 is 104 over 2 and so y is equals to minus 5 plus minus a square root of 25 minus 104 is uh, equals to minus 81 over 2 and you know the square root of uh, negative numbers doesn't have any real roots so it has imaginary roots but we don't look for the imaginary numbers here we just look for the real numbers so this does not have real roots so we can Ignore this uh, second equation and the only root we have for this uh, whole procedure for this equation only is this number y equals to 5 and only that. So we can go forward with this y equals 5 because we don't have just y. We at the first step we define 2 to the power of x equals to y. So we use this equation and find x here. So I can write it another page y is 5 and 2 to the power of x is y so with these two equations i have 2 to the power of x equals to 5 so for this equation if i get logarithm of this uh, term Then we have logarithm of 2 to the power of x equals to logarithm of 5. And this logarithm uh, could be in the base of 10. And now I have another uh, rules for the logarithmic expressions. You may know, but I can't write it here. If logarithm a to the power of b, if, if it, the term is like that, you can write it like b equals to b logarithm of a. So we can use that rule here because we have the power like this. So this equals to x logarithm of 2 to the power of 10 equals to logarithm of 5 to the power of 10 and if you divide the both terms to the uh, expression of two, logarithm of 2 to the power of 10 then the logarithmic terms can be cancelled here and from the left side you just have x simply x and for this term from the right side you have logarithmic expression of 5 and logarithmic expression of 2 to power of 10 and another logarithmic 
rules says that always logarithm of a divide by logarithm of b equals to in any base logarithm of a to the power uh, to uh, the base of b then you can write x equals to logarithm of 5 to the power of to the base of 2 and this is the last result for the, our expression for the main equation we define the first step thank you for your attention